how to create a parametric classic frame for your paintings and mirrors in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. Select metric generic model face based. Open the family. Go to family category and parameters. Select furniture. OK. Select reference plane. Draw a vertical reference plane. Select reference plane. Mirror or type MM for shortcut. Select the center reference plane. Next. Draw a horizontal reference plane. Mirror or type MM for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Next. Dimensions. Make it equal. Dimensions. Select the dimension. And create new parameter. Name it. Width. OK. Next. Dimensions. Make it equal. Dimensions. Select the dimension. And create new parameter. Name it. Height. OK. Next. Open the decorative accent family from our previous tutorial. Or see the link in the description below. Open the family. Load into project and close. Select family 1. OK. OK. Place the family. Pick on the center. Select the model. Go to Properties. And let's change the type to Type P. Next. Align or Type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. And select this reference from the family. Lock. Select the model. Mirror or Type MM for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Align or Type AL for shortcut. Select the reference plane. And select this reference from the family. Lock. Select the model. Go to Properties. Select Edit Type. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. And create new parameter. Name it. Accent Finish. OK. OK. Go to Height. Associate Family Parameter. And create new parameter. Name it. Accent Height. OK. OK. Go to Thickness. Associate Family Parameter. And create new parameter. Name it. Accent Thickness. OK. OK. Apply. OK. Next. Go to Family Types. Select New Type. Name it. Style P. OK. Select new parameter. Name it. Frame accent style. Type of parameter. Select family type. And select generic models. OK. OK. 
for the frame accent style. Let's change it to decorative accent. P. To match with the type style P. Apply. OK. Next. Select the model. Go to label. And select frame accent style. Select the model. Go to label and select frame accent style. Go to family types. Select new type. Name it. Style E. OK. Now let's change frame accent style to decorative accent. E1 or small e, apply. Select new type. Name it. Style M. OK. Now let's change frame accent style to decorative accent. M. Apply. Select style. E. Apply. Select style. P. Apply. OK. Right click and select zoom to fit. Go to create and select sweep. Select sketch path. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select the path. Lock. Select this reference plane. Select the path. Lock. Select this reference plane. Select the path. Lock. Select the reference plane. Select the path. Lock. Finish the path. Select edit profile. Select left elevation. Select Rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Select this reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Dimensions. Select the line. And this line. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Frame width. OK. Change the scale to 1 is to 5. Select the dimension. Go to label. And select the accent thickness. Finish the profile. Finish the sweep. Go to reference level. Go to graphic display options. Select realistic. Go to family types. Change the width to 2000 and change the height to 1000. Next. Change the frame width to 10 mm. Apply. Go to Accent Finish and let's change the material. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Metal. Then select Stainless Steel Polished and add to the project library. And rename the material you want. Apply OK. OK. Next, select the frame. Go to Properties, Materials and Finishes, Associate Family Parameter. Select the Accent Finish. OK. Next. Go to Create and select Extrusion. 
Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select the inside edge. Select the line, lock. 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 Finish the extrusion. Go to left elevation. Create a reference line. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Panel thickness. OK. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select the line. Lock. Go to family types. Change the panel thickness to 10 mm. Apply. OK. Go to 3D. Select Realistic. Select this element. Go to Temporary Hide Isolate. Select Hide Element. Select the panel. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Panel Finish. OK. OK. Next. Go to Family Types. Panel Finish. Select a material. Go to Home. Favorites and select World Map Paintings. And add to Project Library. Apply. OK. Apply. OK. Now we have a World Map Paintings on Classic Frames. Go to Family Types. Select Style. E. Apply. Next. Change the panel thickness to 10 mm. And change the width to 1500 mm. And change the height to 1000 mm. For the frame width change it to 10 mm. Apply OK. Select the accent. Go to Edit Type. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Finish. OK. Height. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Height. Thickness. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Thickness. OK. Apply. OK. Next. Go to Family Types. Change the Accent Height to 250 mm. Apply. Select Style. M. Change the Width Value to 1500 and Panel Thickness to 10 mm. Next change the Height Value to 1000 mm. And Frame Width to 10 mm. Apply. OK. Select the accent. Go to Edit Type. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Finish. Height. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Height. OK. Thickness. Associate Family Parameter. Select Accent Thickness. OK. Apply. OK. Go to Family Types. Change the accent height value to 200 mm. Apply. Next. Let's change the accent finish to something metal. Select Stainless Steel Polished Frame. OK. For the panel finish. Go to Material Browser. 
Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select the glass then select the mirror and add to Project Library. OK. Apply. Select Style. E. Apply. Accent Finish. Go to Material Browser. Select Stainless Steel Polished Frame. Panel Finish. Select Mirror. OK. Apply. Select Style, P, OK. Right-click and select Zoom to fit. Save the family. Save into the desktop. And name it. Parametric Classic Frame. Save the family. Load into project and close. Pick at the wall surface. Go to Properties. Select Style. E. Press space bar to rotate the model. Pick at the wall surface. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.